One thing's for sure, this movie features the world's most deadliest balcony. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this video where I got an early screener thanks to my local Cineworld to check out a movie called Mother's Instinct which comes out in the UK on March 27th of 2024. Now this stars Jessica Chastain and it also stars Anne Hathaway. Now before we get into that, this is actually a kind of 2012 novel then they made a French language movie in 2018 and this is like an Americanized remake of that French language version six years later. So I've never seen the French language film, I've never read the novel so I can't compare them, I can only go off this American remake so to say. Now if you're wondering okay well Mike what is Mother's Instinct all around? Well basically it follows two housewives in the 1960s played by Anne Hathaway and Jessica Chastain, who plays characters called Alice and Celine. And after a tragedy happens, their friendship deteriorates pretty quickly. That's all I'm gonna say without giving you guys spoilers, because you may have not seen a trailer for this. And what I will say is if you haven't seen a trailer for this, don't watch one because it does pretty much show you the majority of this hour and a half movie in about two or three minutes. So with that in mind, I will say going into this I like both Anne Hathaway and Jessica Chastain they are great actresses so to see them together on like a dynamic in this picture I was definitely intrigued they have been in movies before but not in kind of the same scenes together so this is actually a nice refresh and I think for both actresses the women do a solid job they definitely carry this material and the script for that matter and they definitely make the most out of what they're given i would say all around the acting is good whether it is our two lead women or whether it is our two male actors here and also the children actors i think everyone all around does a good job i think they have good chemistry for what they're given again it's pretty weak the script which we'll get into but for what they're given they probably do the best they can now this is also apparently set in the 1960s the costume department is good i like the costumes here and there was definitely some cinema goers in my screen tonight especially two older ladies who i don't know but i overheard them saying a comment being like oh yeah i really like the costumes and like they they looked beautiful and i thought yeah okay yeah you know i agree i think the costume department worked well the cinematography is also done well in terms of it is a carefully shot movie and at times i would say about especially one or two parts here that really got me intrigued you know i found myself really invested and also wondering how this was going to play out but unfortunately, that's where my positives end. Because if I want to go into the negatives, this has a little bit of a mystery surrounding it. And ultimately, I felt like the mystery wasn't great. You can kind of see it from a mile off and it wasn't anything that kind of blew me out of the water or blew my socks off or one where I thought, wow, what an amazing ending. It's a one that I am like truly baffled by. No. I saw it coming, it is fairly predictable, so you'll probably see it coming, and it wasn't really ultimately satisfying, let me put it that way. And I think what also doesn't really help this movie is two big glaring problems, and those are part of the cinematography and the set and the pacing. So let's talk about the pacing very quickly. So this movie starts off pretty quick, and we're introduced to our characters, and we're introduced to this tragedy, fairly earlier on which i think is a little bit too early to reveal its cards for most part and i would have probably extended that out a little bit and had a few more scenes even if you extended the runtime by say five or ten minutes i think this movie could have really benefited from that but in terms of the pacing after that kind of first 10 minutes the movie is a real snail's pace of a film until it gets to like kind of the end of the second act going into the third act when we really start picking things up and they start getting into this kind of mystery so to say that's when the movie picks up but then again it goes back down and it tries to pick itself up and it doesn't really work but i think what also doesn't help this 
is the cinematography portion and the costume and although there is some praise to be given I ultimately didn't feel like this was a 1960s movie yes you have the vehicles of course you've got the costuming you've got the makeup and the hair and all that stuff that part looks okay right so that in turn you know it looks okay but ultimately I felt like these actresses were just playing dress up because aesthetically it didn't scream 1960s not once did I think that these people were in that time frame and if you can't be bought into that time frame which is meant to be kind of like a period piece then ultimately you're not going to be bought into the movie so overall mother's instinct yeah I'm kind of in the middle on it if I'm going to be honest so with that in mind you can probably tell my score with that comment it's going to go between a two and a half and a three out of five stars have you seen this movie are you going to check it out let me know down below in the comment section so we can continue the discussion down there if you've enjoyed this video certainly give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button down below so you can see more videos of mine a big thank you to all my awesome patrons who helped to really support the channel really appreciate all their support and if you want to join patreon and access early videos click below in the link tree so you can join patreon today also if you've missed out on these videos or don't even know about them click over here go search those videos and dive into more content but until the next time that i see you guys i'll be seeing you later